What's going on ADC people and what is our journey today? I'm going to present it. It's not a brass blade, but I like the box. It's like a vacuum chamber. If I can do it right. We are talking about the Finch Cimarron. This is the gray and yellow version. Gray, yellow. Uh, blade steel 14c 28n so this model um, so far is the lower priced finch uh, out there it's um, I believe $89 about $90 right now retail on dealers websites uh, and I think that's a good price for this knife um, 14c 28n is a great steel there's the name of it the Cimarron it does have some jimping on top and you can do that finch grip it has a nice choil, a very nice choil actually, for, sh for sharpening. And the design of the blade is really quite interesting because, uh, well, it, it was conceptualized from uh, the uh, turbines, you know, the windmill, wind farms, you know, the turbines, those those, you know, those blades that spin, um, and that's kind of the design theory behind it, and that's cool. Um, However, I also see it as um, a great potential for EDC. So I could take this. I, this, for some reason, when I see this knife, I instinctively think of boating, fishing, um, outdoors, or you know, hiking, fishing, or not uh, camping. Um, the blade is entirely include, you know, self included in this in the uh, handle. Uh, while we're talking about that, let me grab some measurements. Yes, I do have a doctor's office ruler because it has a little thing on there and it works out really nice. Um, so it looks like it is four and a quarter, just over four and a quarter inches long in handle. The blade from zero to the scale is three and a half and in total we're looking at just about nine inches in total um yeah so that's cool so let's grab the weight of it while we're doing all these specifications so in grams we're looking at 87.09 in ounces that's 3.072 so it's lightweight and it's meant for that it's meant for outdoors it's meant for oops and I just kicked the entire tripod I have got to find a way to uh, to not knock into my stuff every time I do a video okay yeah so this uh, if to me for some reason uh, it's just I, instinctively I thought of going out in the boat um, fishing um, you know filleting a fish if need be uh, but anything uh, any EDC chore this knife could do it's absolutely full size you can get a full grip on this knife at least I can with, with room to spare without using that pinch grip that I've been talking about so much the 14 C 28 n blade steel um, you know for that's why the price is the price that it is um, because it's 14 c 28n it's a more of a budget steel but it's a good budget steel a lot of people are raving about 14 c 28n right now so that having been said i am happy that they chose that blade steel to keep this knife you know at a lower price and you still do have the titanium clip in with the standard two screw pa uh, pattern that they've been using on the, some of the most of the other pa uh, models um and the action on it i mean it's it's drop shot out of the box you know it falls right in it pops right out and, and it's just a very simple knife um the the other patterns are much brighter much more uh you know easy to see outdoors i i'm not really gonna take this probably um, in the woods or anything I'm again I'm more of gonna probably go boating with it so I think that that subtle bright yellow is cool for, for me but but if you're a hunter or you know you want a really bright colored knife uh, so that you can't uh, miss it well then uh, the all the other variants and colors should just do you perfectly um, 
So we've done this, the lengths and measurements. Let's get this out of the way. Um, please give me a thumbs up if you like my videos. Consider subscribing. I'm trying to get to 500. When I do get to 500 uh, subscribers, I'm going to do a, a fairly decent giveaway. So I'm trying to, it's just right around the corner. Uh, it takes two seconds, guys. If you would just, if you don't mind, hit that button for me. Well, regardless, we're talking about the Cimarron, the Finch Cimarron and um and how much of a of an outdoorsy kind of knife it is uh but yet totally edcable um i should just put the knife out and stop fiddling with the pad uh the pad there yeah so anyways 14 c 28 n blade steel we already covered that we covered the specifications let me show you some uh some comparisons all right very simple here we'll start with um PM2, pivot to pivot. Benchmade 940. So you can see that this is a full size knife. It's not It's not small, this is not quite light. And I'm so sorry for hitting this tripod over and over again. I am trying my best. Um, so as you can see, it's very similar in size to the Benchmade 940 actually. Um, both in, in blade kind of stoutness and uh, handle girth. Um, you know, the PM2 is obviously much larger in different forms altogether. Um, yeah, so, uh, you know, and then one of its, how about one of its brothers, the uh, model 1929. So that's what the uh, Cimarron kind of looks like. Um, it's definitely, um, I don't want to say one of their budget models, but it's it's less expensive than the 1929, the Holiday, the Runtley. Um, like I said, it's in that $90 range, but it's good quality. Like I said, I, I want to show you a comparison now that that you might be surprised in. This here is the Monterey Bay Knives uh, Ray Laconico designed. I believe it's the Easy C, I, and I have to double check on that title, but I do know that it is an MBK. Um, design. I do know that it's a Ray Laconico design, and I believe it's the EZC. Um, this knife, I don't even, I haven't done any research on this EZC yet. I just got it in the past round group. But what I want to say is it reminds me so much of this knife in, with the action. And, and in a way, the, the way the blade is so kind of simple and compact and almost is entirely concealed in the, in the handle. Um, you know, yeah, you're talking two different uh, visual things. This is more of an outdoorsy, um, uh, bright knife where this is not. This is going to be more fancy materials. Um, but, you know, yeah, it does have a pretty nice snap out. I'll give it that. This doesn't have much different though, I can tell you. And that drop, that's that's so nice on this knife. Oh, my mat is going everywhere here. Um, and the, so that the drop that's so nice on this knife, right? Which is, would be a little better if I wasn't on camera. Uh, is the same, if not better, on this knife. It really is. So. Just something to take into consideration. Take a look at the sizes. They're not that far off. Um, I really don't know a price on the uh, Monterey Bay knife yet. I've got to look it up and do that all before I do my video. It's the the Cimarron is slightly larger, but the comparisons are very notable. And um, even the weight, you know, it, it, they. I'm just curious now. Um, in ounces, two point three. 3.0 okay so two so it is, it is lighter it is it is more maybe deceiving but it is smaller also so bear that in mind um i'm going to get rid of the mbk knife for now uh because this is the star of the show today and uh let me see if i can shut off my overhead light and maybe you'll see the the finch thing glow take a look at the loom on it isn't that incredible? Anyways, I think it's very cool. 
Yeah, this is not going to be a long video, as I have said in the past, or I said in the last few videos. Um, I did a general overview video of each of the Finch knives, uh, and then I was going to do a video more specific on each knife. So, um, this is the more uh, budget-friendly uh, 14C28N uh, Finch model. It's the more outdoorsy, uh, bright colors, hunting, fishing, boating, uh, backpacking kind of knife. Um, that's what it's designed to, to be. The blade is made in homage to those turbines, or I believe that's what they're called. I might be wrong, but I believe you all know what I'm talking about. Those uh, wind farm, you know, wind farms have those things that have look like fans. This is one of the blades of the fan kind of thing. Um, and uh, you have endless, endless uh, options with the blade shape, um, especially when it comes to outdoor stuff like uh, filleting fish or, or, or even just cleaning fish and, um, or, or other uh, small game. Um, and, you know, it's just uh, it's a lightweight knife, full size, totally compact, and I really like it. It's not my favorite finch, but it's definitely um, it's definitely an attractive design and a cool thought process. And it was made with a cool story behind it. Um, probably this is, out of the four, this is probably the number four spot in terms of what my, my you know, which ones are my favorite. I, but it's it's so hard to say because I like each of them. So even in fourth, it's still a knife that I, I like a lot, a lot. So it's only in fourth two other Finch knives. <laughs> um, and uh, so that's the Finch Cimarron. And uh, in a nutshell, if you have any questions about it, comments, concerns, whatever, feel free to comment down below. I like, I'll get back to you, uh, you know, I like talking to all of you, and if you see a heart, that means I've read your message, whether or not I reply, that's another story, but if, I, if you see the heart on your message to me, that means I've read the message, at the very, at the very least. Um, so once again, before I close out, hit that thumbs up button please, and smash subscribe for me, I'm trying to get to 500. Let's do this together. It's just around the corner. Awesome giveaway when I get there. Talk to you later, guys. That's the Finch Cimarron. Have a great day.